Good morning, everyone. This is Dan with Sydney's Angels. It's 4 a.m. It's an hour before I leave for work. I'm getting up to do water changes on all my fry tanks. I do this every workday, and I figured I'd share a quick tip with you. Stay tuned. All right, I want to show you guys how I made these DIY reader boxes. They're super simple, super easy to make, and very cheap in my um, situation. So I bought these at Staples. They're called The Really Useful Box. Uh, it's a company out of UK, and they come in all different kinds of sizes, so if you need storage for other purposes, they're a great box. And basically, what they are is a clear tote with a ridge on the top, and that allows them to stack on each other. And what I like about these is they come in a blue color and a gray color. Obviously, I wanted the gray clear color so we could see what's going on inside. Um, they were Staples was having a 50% off store-wide sale because they were closing out. Um, so Jordan and I picked up, well, I bought six of these because there were six left. I would have bought 10 of them, 20 of them if I could, because I just think they're really nice. Um, they're $4 a piece. I think on Amazon they're like $8 to $12 a piece. Uh, I'll link something in the description so you guys can check it out. And you can use anything. But I'm going to show you how I hatch micro fish um, in these little tubs. It's very easy to do. I'm keeping them at room temperature. So in my basement it's like 70-ish degrees, 68 degrees on the top shelf. Um, and I can show you a little bit. In this one, we already got some free swimmers. Very simple. I'm just gonna drill a hole and uh, run some airline tubing in there. We're pre pretty much done. Okay, so we have our really useful box. I use the three liter version. It's got it stamped right on the plastic there. You can use whatever size you want. I believe they come in 0.3 liters, three liters, and then just larger from there. And um, I believe three liters is uh, the equivalent of 0.8 US gallons so it's a good size um, very strong box actually that what sold me was a picture of a mini Cooper sitting on um, four of these boxes and I thought it was if it can hold a, a car it must be pretty decent you can see it's very reinforced um, the lid pops off this is removable this is the part we're going to be drilling you can drill in the top if you're not planning on stacking them. I'm going to drill in the side so we can stack them. And then on the inside, it's a smooth box. There's nowhere for a fish or a fry to get hung up in, uh, which I really like. So all we're going to do is get in the box we, the way we want it. In my case, the really useful logo is going to be on the back just because I don't want to have this get in the way of seeing the fish. I'm just going to need a drill. I've got my Dewalt. Uh, 1564 size drill bit works for me. You could play around with, you know, whatever you think works. And really, my goal is to drill a hole so that I can get some airline tubing through the lid, but have it also be removable. So I think we're gonna put it in this corner, like right here. And it doesn't have to be fancy. We're not building rocket ships. We're just gonna go ahead and drill. I'm gonna give it a little extra love just so I don't struggle with the airline. But since I'm me, I'll probably struggle anyway. There we go. We got our super high tech hole in the corner. And I can remove this and it, it'll take the airline with it, which is what I want for my, my setup. Okay, so I've got some aquarium co-op uh, airline tubing. This stuff's awesome if you've never used it. It's like, and you think like, how good can it be? It's airline tubing. Actually, some airline tubing really sucks. This stuff is super soft, um, very easy to work with, very easy to cut. Uh, it's black, so you don't really see algae on it. I mean, they really did their, their homework when they came up with this. And you can buy in a big spool. I think I bought like a 300 foot spool. Could be way off on that, <laughs> but it, it looks like a lot. So I'll, I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. So basically, I'm just using a short piece just to show you. Um, we're just gonna feed this through this hole that we drilled, like so. 
And if it doesn't fit, you can put the drill bit back in and walk it around for a little bit just to kind of make it a little wider. So, see I've got it through. I'm just gonna kind of feed it. And the idea is to get it so that it's gonna be below the water line. So that's really up to how far you fill this thing. If you're hatching a mop of like rainbow fish eggs or something and you just want to fill it up halfway, then just, you know, drop it down a little bit. What I like about these boxes is they're super easy to pick up, move around. You know, like, let's say I want to like look at these fish and like move them now. Pop this top off, airline comes with it. Now I've just got the fish. Um, and with a lot of fry, when they're just born, they need to go inflate their, I believe it's their air, their swim bladder with air. And they don't want a whole lot of height in the water column uh, to get to the air because that just, you know, really diminishes their chances of survival. So with something like this, it's perfect because they don't have a, a giant journey to get to the top. So you can see I've got three going right now. One for the CPDs, one for the emerald grass boras, and this is a mix of both of them before I separated them. So every day, uh, about four hours after first light, we take the cups from the CPDs, and we take the cup from the emerald grass boras, and we literally walk over here and just dump them in. Um, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see on the video, but, oh yeah, see, we got, Free swimmers in here and if you did this over the course of three or four days you'll see every day we'll get more free swimmers what's up little guy I know it's early I don't want to be up either so there you go quick little tip for you guys hope you find it useful um, if you did and you want to see more videos like this you can always like comment subscribe follow my progression uh, I'm a crazy fish person. I'm going to be making a lot more videos. I'm going to be building a fish room and We can learn along the way um, As always, thanks for watching. I hope everyone's doing well staying safe. Bye